Can you tell me your funniest memories from making the movie? You have so many funny memories. And then we always realize after, like later on, we're always reminiscing about the stories. And we're like, this is what we could tell in the mm -hmm. interview. I think the funniest stuff that happens is after work, when we're hanging out and we're just being goofy and, and silly with each other. When the boys are dressed up as soldiers, they like to do a robot dance, which is quite funny. Um, it seems like something you would do. It seems like something I wouldn't do. It does seem like something I would do. And does seem like something <laughs> you would not participate in. I would always walk into thi pretend to not yes, be able to see yes, you when yeah, I was yeah, in my yeah. soldier thing. That was my bit. They I were kind of hard to see through. Yeah. Because you had bandana underneath it and a scarf and then a mask as well. I would just pretend to not be able to see anything and just run into the walls and doors and then just be like, and point it at. Mm -hmm. People. Was there any pranking like there was in the original films? That was one giant prank that I played on the entire cast. <laughs> pretending to like them for three movies. Oh, it's that all over. Bond, <laughs> the, the friendship, all the memories. It's the biggest prank. <laughs> None of you even realize yet. But I'm so close to finally <laughs> completing the prank. And was it emotional, like knowing it was the last film and what happened to your character? We were kind of exhausted with like, my final scene was a huge night shoot until like six in the morning and I had to get a plane the next morning. Uh, so there wasn't really time to kind of get sad about it, but it kind of hit us when we went back to the trailers to get changed and we'd all left little gifts in each other's trailers, like little rat presents, which we'd never done before. But I think on this one, we all felt the urge to give each other like a little souvenir or a little something to remember each other by. What was your best gift from someone? Thomas got us all lighters that never arrived because he's not organized and they didn't arrive in time. So I'm still waiting for my lighter from Africa that I'm excited about. We were shooting in Cape Town, so I bought him like Cape Town souvenirs and stickers and Nelson Mandela tea. Thomas is forgetting that I got us band t-shirts, so we should just cut this interview out. That's okay. Because we're not going to be able to look at each other for the time. I have a gag reel. It's probably about 11 minutes. It shows a lot of fun times, but I don't know, every day we have, there's always laughs to be had. I can't, I can't think of any particular one that uh, I think would be fun to hear, but uh, fans will be excited to see it and the DVD comes out, a lot of the funs we had. Do you have a favorite gift that you got? I took something from set, um, a little necklace that Newt has in the movie that I won't spoil, but uh, I took that. And it's a cool little, you know, something that Thomas Brody Sangster himself kind of wrote in his hand. So it's nice to have, and don't tell anyone. And did you give gifts to other people? No. Oh. <laughs> My gift was the movie. <laughs>